Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we are gonna be going over um, my new style that I like tried to speed past it like it didn't just change dramatically. Um, if you guys haven't noticed and haven't been following me on Instagram, be sure you do because that is where you can see my fashion evolution from the 1950s kitschy pastel like pure vintage look to a more modern-esque still vintage neutral toned grown-up look so I found myself like feeling like I was outgrowing it because I've done it for so long like what 12 13 years that's crazy um, and as in a formal adult now I think I should um, venture off into a more adult style and I didn't know what that what I wanted that to be for a while because I still want to be true to my vintage roots um, and then while I was working on a new song I just outed myself I guess I'm just gonna say it in this video I'm working on a new song and I was um, looking for reference pictures of like just like reference pictures of paintings and like architecture um, that I wanted the music video to be like and then that is when my aesthetic was born my new improved aesthetic pretty much showing you guys how to achieve that same vibe because I'm loving living in this vibe it is just uh, I love it so much let's just go let's just do it let's get started <laughs> So first I want to talk about what my new style is and I'm going to describe it using words and pictures of architecture and just paintings and stuff to describe what I'm trying to like get at. I don't have an official name for it so if you guys have any official name suggestions down below after I describe it for you, make sure you comment that. And if it already exists, also make sure to comment that because I really couldn't find anything like it. So my style um, is definitely a very high feminine energy. It is very romantic. It is vintage. Um, it is very, very inspired by Greek mythology, specifically Aphrodite, who is the goddess of love. And it is inspired by her and her origins since she was born in the sea. I've always personally loved the ocean. Uh, my birthstone is aquamarine. My, my birthday is on Mermaid Day. I am very into and in tune with the ocean. And the color palette that I've been sticking for this look are colors like white, off-white, beige, nude, different shades of brown, pale pink, um, and a lot of gold. So that is the overall color palette of my style. There is black and light blue involved occasionally, like today where I have all black on. Um, but that is the color scheme and the elements I would say would be gold and pearls. So that is overall the structure of my clothing style. And now I'm gonna show you guys examples of like outfits that I have that I would wear to express this style. So my first outfit is one of my favorites, heavily inspired by seashells. This baby doll dress is so comfortable and perfect for a day out in nature. I love how it ties in the back as if it were made out of broken sails, which reminds me a lot of Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I paired this dress with a gorgeous gold leaf and pink rose headband since goddesses are often depicted wearing gold in their hair. And I also paired this look with my raw aquamarine ring. Wearing raw gemstones, especially if it's a gemstone that is associated with water, is a great way to bring the aesthetic all together. And I'm also wearing my go-to necklaces that I wear every single day. It's a ruby encrusted gold coin of Aphrodite with a single pearl necklace. And to top it off, I threw on some matching pearl earrings. Now my next outfit is a really fun one because it's inspired by the classic outfits that artists wore while sculpting the statues. They are usually depicted wearing brown slacks with a white flowy top, so this is my take on that. I'm wearing this gorgeous off-white Victorian style blouse with a more formal set of brown pants. And pro tip, look for high-waisted pants if you are diving into my aesthetic because the fit is very classy, vintage, and it also elongates your legs, flattering your figure more. I'm also wearing a gold signet ring with my initials engraved in it just to add some classiness to the look and some chunky gold earrings to match it. Now to not forget the strong ocean theme in my aesthetic, I threw on this gorgeous gold seashell hair clip. I love this hair clip so much and use it for my more casual outfits to immediately give off mermaid vibes. And here are the same necklaces that you saw in my last outfit. 
And as a staple accessory to this look, and honestly my entire wardrobe, I chose these turtle shell brown cat eye glasses that are very classy and versatile. Next up, I am wearing the satin dusty pink cottage style dress to play on the vintage and princess elements of my style. This dress is honestly so beautiful that I didn't want to wear much else with it to not take away attention from it. Now the design of the bust area is called a peasant top or a peasant fit, so any dresses with that design is super flattering and perfect if you want more cottagey vibes in your wardrobe. Now this outfit is a showstopper. This look is the epitome of a goddess, perfect for any romantic date by the shore. The short bell sleeves and V-cut neckline are what really makes this look so ethereal and goddess-like and feminine, and the belt around the waist is a great way to define your waist in a dress that doesn't show much of your figure. I paired this dress with a pearl headband and my go-to necklaces once again. This cream plated dress is so silky and so flowy in the wind. Similar to my first outfit, here is that seashell type fabric I was mentioning earlier. Next is my favorite little black dress, which is the dress that I'm actually wearing throughout this video. Black is a color that definitely pops up in my style from time to time as an accent color. The square neckline is actually a very popular princess cut, so looking for any shirts or dresses that have a square neckline immediately adds class to your wardrobe. For jewelry, I have paired the dress with these vintage pearl statement earrings that really remind me of Coco Chanel's style, and that is honestly it. Simplicity is elegance. Now my last outfit is simplicity of another kind. I'm actually wearing this pure silk Victorian style dress. The only expensive outfit here, but you can honestly see why. The design and the dress is so incredibly beautiful. I rarely actually ever wear this dress for anything but formal events. And I know the cleavage is a little risque, but we all have to have a little fun sometimes. <laughs> Now as for hair, a lot of things really work well, especially if the hairstyle is Greek inspired such as braids and twists and, you know, up half ups and stuff like that. Um, what I find myself gravitating towards the most is just a beachy curl or like a beachy wave. And you can dress up the hair by doing something like this where you pull the top back and have these romantic bangs with a bow or just leave your hair just as is. The more natural and effortless it can look, the better it looks with the style. That's what I personally found. So the next thing I want to talk about is perfume. Now perfume is actually really important to your style. Other people um, will, will read you differently depending on your perfume. And it also helps you indulge in your vibe. Like when you smell what you see, you're like, yes, just yes. So um, here are some perfume favorites that really, really, like bring me there with that aesthetic. So my top go-to perfume is called Mon Guerlain. It is a very luxurious scent with notes such as lavender, mandarin orange, bergamot, iris, rose, jasmine, sunbok, tahitian and Madagascar vanilla, patchouli, licorice, Australian sandalwood, and white musk. If Aphrodite smelled like anything, I imagine she would smell like this. It's overall a very sweet, warm, and romantic scent. So many people compliment me on this one the most, so I recommend this one the most. My second top favorite is this version of Chanel number no. 5. It is a lighter and sweeter version of the original, which was famously worn by Marilyn Monroe. The notes in this one are Rose de Mai, Lemon, Mandarin, Bergamot, Orange, Jasmine, Lang Lang, Aldehydes, Sandalwood, Cedar, and Cottony. Chanel No. 5 is more suitable for the daytime since it's light and powdery, and Mangrelaine is more suitable for the nighttime since it's stronger. So those are my top two recommendations. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up before you go. Um, and if you guys have a very underrated style or a style that you feel you invented, make sure you comment and describe that style to me down below because I would love to hear about your vibe. And uh, if you guys want more princess and vintage content like this, all you gotta do is subscribe and turn on the notification bell so I can see you in my next video.